Live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Satellite picture of the radar outside right now. We're socked in with low clouds. Some breaks in the clouds out here in North Georgia. And look at this precipitation really starting to expand now in coverage as this storm system starts to take shape here off the Carolina coast. And it's going to slowly move up the eastern seaboard and it's going to take the moisture with it for the most part. You can see the snow starting to break out in the higher elevations of the mountains of Virginia and also West Virginia. But as that storm system does leave, on the back side of it, it's going to draw in some colder air and some moisture with the northwesterly flow. For the mountains of North Carolina in particular, and I'll talk more about that in just a second. A couple of sprinkles are certainly possible uh, throughout our area, and it is cold outside. Northeastern Georgia right now is 36 degrees in Clarksville, 39 in Carnesville, Hartwell, and also in Clayton, 40 in Tacoa, and in Elberton. Temperature is pretty cold, obviously, and through western North Carolina, 40 right now in Silva, same story in Bryson City, 42 in Franklin. And then it's upper 30s right now in Brevard. It's 37 in Asheville, also in Waynesville, 36 in Hendersonville, 34 in Burnsville, Spruce Pine, and right at the freezing mark right now in Boom. Still a pair of 41s both in Rutherfordton and in Columbus. Throughout the upstate, temperatures cold mainly in the 30s, mainly in the upper 30s. 37 right now in Pickens. It's 38 in Walhalla, 39 in Greenville and in Spartanburg, and in Greenwood, 37 degrees in Newbury. It's 42 in Union and in Lawrence, 41 in Gaffney, 40 in Anderson, and 43 degrees in Abbeville. It is cold out there. Northeasterly breeze at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, driving in the colder air. Humidity levels remaining very high across the area. You can see that wedge of cold air in the deep south all the way back into metro Atlanta, where it's currently 40 degrees. So tomorrow morning, there's the coastal storm, which will slowly move up the eastern seaboard and continue to intensify. This little tiny low, all the energy is going to shift to the coast, so it's going to just going to get absorbed into that low. You'll see that when my maps move here in just a second. And this cold front is going to push through, allowing the northwest winds to pick up speed, which means a northwesterly flow behind that system, and the best chance of rain and snow showers will be along the Tennessee and North Carolina line. Could even uh, be seeing maybe even a couple of inches of wet snow, especially the higher elevations. Weather Service will be monitoring the situation. Very closely because this wraparound moisture, if it gets strong enough, we could even see maybe some sort of advisory, uh, especially for the North Carolina counties that, that are right along the Tennessee line and back into northeastern Georgia. So, as we go through the day, uh, brief shower or sprinkle possible even in the upstate, but it'll be liquid precipitation. And there's the rain and snow showers in western North Carolina and northeastern Georgia. Going through tomorrow night, snow showers for the northern and central mountains of North Carolina. And notice that low just almost becomes stationary, just sitting here dumping tons of snow back and through parts of New England, especially away from the bigger cities themselves. And then as we get into Wednesday afternoon, finally high pressure starts to build in and dries us out across the area. Lots of cloudiness with clearing skies late in the upstate low, just above the freezing mark, below the freezing mark with mostly cloudy skies in the mountains with light winds becoming breezy though tomorrow. In the Greenville Spartanburg Anderson area for tomorrow, partly sunny skies, increasing clouds in the afternoon, maybe that brief shower possible, high 53 degrees. And it's going to be another cold day, not as cold as today where we only reached the 40s, but still or below average temperatures for this time of the year. Scattered rain and snow showers tomorrow in the Asheville Hendersonville area, breezy, high temperature only 43 degrees. And as you can see, warming up just barely to maybe 43 degrees at noon time. So pretty cold temperatures. Four day plus for the Greenville Spartanburg Anderson area. Chilly weather. We're talking about uh, highs only in the 50s. And then four-day plus for the Asheville-Hendersonville area, we're talking about temperatures pretty chilly once we get past the next couple of days.